All right, welcome back. We're going to show you the second part of our six exercises for the football player, and we're going to do probably my personal favourite. This one, um, this one is a great one for anyone who plays sports wants to have really good stability through the leg, prevent injuries, and have incredible balance. So, um, and if, for a football player, this is excellent if you want to be excellent at being able to mark a ball and land effectively without falling over. All right, so Dylan's going to show us how the exercise works. Now, basically, he's going to set himself up in a lunge. With the dumbbell on his left shoulder, on his left shoulder, with his right leg being the balance. Now Dylan's a left-handed player, so he's more dominant on that left side. So he really needs to have incredible balance on this right side for whenever he's going to kick or he's going to tap out or he's going to try and go up for a mark. He's most likely going to jump off that right leg. All right. So this particular exercise, break him down at either his ankle, his hip, or his trunk. Um, so if you have any of those injuries throughout the body, there. This exercise is one of the ones that sort of times the, the sequence of movement perfectly. So what I'm going to show you now is how we relate this to the game. We're going to use it as a marking exercise. All right, so I'll see you in a second. All right, so now we're back and we're going to show you how Dylan, how we relate that last exercise to how we would actually play the game. All right, so we're going to watch Dylan mark the ball. So he's going to set up in a lunge. Perfect. And you can see he didn't make any mistakes then. So there's a great example of how that particular movement would relate to the game. So if he got incredibly strong with an able to handle a 20 kilo dumbbell and load through his leg without losing balance, fair to say he's going to be an incredibly good player when he's on the field. He just needs to do a lot of those exercises and it will relate to the game really well. So I'll see you in the next one for part three.